I'm at Vendatalia 2018 speaking with Jason from Deep Blue. Jason, thanks for joining me today. Yeah. Just explain to me the origins of Deep Blue and the company. Yeah, sure. Deep Blue is uh, the worldwide uh, the AI companies who uh, provide the AI solution and the service to all the industries like uh, retailing, uh, like uh, uh, robots, autopilot, smart cities, and the intelligence, uh, biometric te intelligence, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. So this time we bring our the AI solutions just like behind uh, the AI uh, vending machines mm -hmm. uh, to the to the it Italy, and we hope that uh, with our these uh, AI solutions we can help uh, all the uh, vending companies or other retailing companies to save the cost and also increase the profit. Mm -hmm. And it's very different to uh, traditional vending machines, isn't it? So consumers will go up and just explain the process of if a, if a new, if a customer wanted to go up and take something out of the machine, order something, how would they go about it? What would be the process? Yes, I, I show you the process. Yeah. The, the first you can look at the, our AI vending machines. So there is uh, uh, the camera inside mm. uh, and we use the camera uh, to do the image recognition of all the products. It's called it's a computer vision. Mm -hmm. And which means that all the products sell in the in the refrigerators with the original packing from the factories. We don't have any labels, RFID and others. Mm -hmm. Just a no pure, barcodes. Yeah. Then uh, we use this, uh, we call this a pump pay. Mm -hmm. And which means that the other inside is the infrared device to read or to scan your blood vessel constructions and we use the 250 digits to create your unique palm ID which is a similar to the DNA mm -hmm. ID so it's a totally different from some face ID or fingerprint palm print mm. this is a surface it's easily to be copied and stolen mm -hmm. but uh, blood vessel constructions it's inside it cannot be stolen or copied. Mm -hmm. So this technology so far is the world, uh, worldwide uh, the number one safest way for payment solutions. Sure. Okay? Then with all these uh, uh, technologies, they make uh, this shopping uh, successful. And um, I was going to ask, with, with the, the cameras, they recognize each product. Say if... Uh, the vending operator wanted to bring along a new, I don't know, a new product, a new type of drink or something. Yes. How hard is it for them to set up for the for the cameras to recognize that product if it hasn't got a barcode on? Yeah, it's a good question. The first we will uh, ask them to shoot the videos of uh, one product, just take in and mm. out, simulate the customers uh, mm. go shopping, mm. uh, and uh, this uh, uh, fixed uh, scenario background yeah then we will uh, uh, divide this uh, the, uh, videos into uh, 100 pictures okay then each pictures we will make a specification okay then, so with the shape and yeah then we will do the the, the, the automatic trainings uh, for the products then let the system know these products and then it's red good to go and people can start ordering yes. from there Yes. And where do you think you'd have the, the vending machine uh, place? Would it be in, in transport hubs, in airports, air, airports and train stations, or? Yes, yes. Actually, our products can be indoor or also can be outdoors. Mm. So the the airport, uh, the rail station, subway, campus, hotels, and lobbies, mm -hmm. and it will be very good for our products and also. Uh, you can see this is, this is an AI vending machines. So mm. if uh, you have three together, you can consider this uh, as a mini convenience store. Sure. Because one of our clients uh, from Japan, Lawson, told us that uh, because they are our clients, they told us that uh, if we have three together, it means that uh, it can reach 70% revenue of a traditional vending, uh, traditional convenience store. Mm -hmm. But the cost, setup cost, is only one times. Okay. So you can consider this is not the vending machine. 
it's a between the vending machine and the convenience stores. Mm -hmm. it, it can increase the people's uh, shopping experience and also can increase the perception, uh, consumption per time. Mm -hmm. Because we can sell not only the beverage, but also the food, snacks, any kind of things. Mm. Where do you ex expect to expand in the future? Where are you aiming to, to sell the vending machines? Yeah, I think the Europe will be also the very, very good places mm. because the, in, in Europe the, the retailing, the cost, the labor costs are very high and also the, uh, the um, weekend the people don't, uh, don't work. So this, uh, this uh, AI vending machines or AI, uh, the convenience storms can work 24 hours. Seven days. Okay. So it really can help the, the people uh, to to go shopping any time, mm -hmm. and also reduce the labor costs, reduce the rental costs. Mm. Well, we look forward to finding out more. Jason, okay. thanks for joining me. Thank you. Cheers.